In my opinion, the most important point is to choose the good journal. So, as much as it pains me, I think that the impact factors of the journals cannot be ignored. Um, they, you ultimately, your work should be, um, you know, judged and not the journal where you publish it in, but that what people look at to have a shortcut to the yeah. quality of your work is the impact factor of, of the journal. So it is unfortunately something you have to take into consideration. And um, that just means that if you're in early stage of career, going for a journal where, which hasn't yet an impact factor, um, is really taking a bet because you don't know where it's going to end up. You might have, you know, if it's doing well, that is good. But if you know, if you put all your, if you want to do an academic career where they will look at this, it's really risky. And another suggestion is yes, try to write your paper always thinking to send it to the highest impact journal in your field. It's the most important journal in your field. It might not go there, it might get rejected by multiple journals as you submit, but always aim for the top one. And then you have to see people that would be reviewers of your work. Where do they publish? And what's the, what's the kind of, where are the similar articles is, where are they being published? I think yeah. it's, it's the audience will depend on it and the kind of rev reviewers that you will get depend a lot of you in your on the journal, you know, so you have to be careful about that. And I think one rule is like try to submit even one journal higher than what are your, your feelings because it's anyway a kind of lottery system where it will be accepted and so if it gets reviewed in a good journal you will get at least good comments how to improve your paper before submitting it to, to another uh, journal. Okay. Try and go down the ladder, submit maybe a little bit higher than what you think is even reasonable and be prepared for being rejected many times and just, you know, try out many, many journals until you kind of get lucky. That's a strategy which is particularly okay if you manage to get your work first on the archive so that you have it stamped, that it's, that it's out there and you cannot really get scooped on it. And particularly in bioinformatics work, I think that's often very acceptable. And then you have time to go around, even though people that would look at your career track do treat a really published work differently from one in the archive, but it's still it's there and it can be looked, looked at. And then you don't have to freak out how, how long it will take. So yeah. for this, I'd say the main thing is with the experience, you can see where a paper has the highest chance of being published. It's a bit like when you play cards and you look at odds, right? So are you trying the risky contract or are you trying the safe one? or just passing and whatever. So passing is kind of the plus one PJ path. Like if your work is correct, and I hope it's correct, otherwise you should be discussing publishing it, then you shouldn't get published there. If you think your work is a good fit for, I don't know, MBE or bioinformatics or whatever is the reference journal in your field, but maybe you want to try a more prestigious journal, but in that case, you know you have a risk of wasting more time, getting more stress, getting more demands which will be unfeasible. So that's like you have to think of a cost benefit. If it gets there, it might be better for your CV and your reputation, but if it doesn't, you will waste time and stress. Another thing I, I, I like to do as well is to actually go towards uh, short formats. Sometimes, you know, uh, you're really tempted to go like uh, to extended format. You know, I want to publish a complete research article which require a lot of work, uh, a huge amount of text to be polished and, uh, and uh, written. And sometimes to go like toward like brief communications, it's not a bad idea. You know, I've done that quite a lot and I got like uh, quite successful thanks to this uh, short format. So you end up like by writing up like two, three pages uh, so that you can spend a lot of time polishing this text, uh, getting like a very clear piece of text. And it doesn't change the fact that you can provide as well like very extended supplementary material for this paper with like all the details. So as advice to select journals, um, first I must say I rely quite a bit of, on the mentors I was working with because I think it's really hard to know where to aim when you start your career. And then I have the feeling now that, that when I see results, I have a, an idea where, where to submit. And I